Hey, you doing? Maker Max here. And my Husqvarna chainsaw is leaking all the bar oil out of the bottom. So we're going to get that fixed. All right, I'm going to show you an easy way to get the clutch off of this. So we're going to clamp it in a vise. Okay, once you get it clamped in the vise, you need to take a piece of string and you want to load it in here. So you got to rotate this to a top dead center on the bottom. So top dead bottom. There we go. So you're going to take a piece of string, make it a loop, and you're going to fish in about five or six inches. Next, take a pair of old grungy pliers. And you can stick the jaws in the clutch, or I'm going to try the handles. And then take a wrench, and we're going to loosen it. We're going to turn it till it catches. Right there. There we go. By the way, I'm twisting it the wrong way. I'm twisting it tighter, righty-tighty, to get it off. Look at that, got the clutch out, no problem now. Alright, you want to try and clean off as much of the gunk in there as you can. Alright, so I took this plate off. You can probably see right there, there's a groove that's cut down through it. And I think that's pushing in on this side. And that rests against the oil line. So, I just ordered up a new one. It's called a chain guide plate. So I have that. And I have the oil hose, and I got OEM just because this was like five bucks and this was 15. And the Chinese ones, knockoffs, don't tend to last. So let's uh, get these replaced. Put my oiler back in. Doesn't really matter which way it goes, it has a hole on both sides. Next, we're going to put it on the guide plate. I think it's held in place with one screw. If you notice when you push down, this is sticking up right here. That's good. That means it's going to push down on your oil line. This is our gear to drive the oil pump. Make sure that goes down and give it a little spin until it sits flush. Put that right on the bearing. Chain drive. If you look inside there, you can see the threads start down a little bit. On this side, the threads are even with the top. So I'm going to put down the, even with the top, sticking up. And of course it's reverse thread. Now I still have the rope and the spark plug. You don't have to go crazy tight, because the chainsaw will tighten it up as it's running. When you, do, when you put your bar on too, you want to make sure this hole is clear, because that's going to go over this, where the oil comes out. That side is clear, so I'm just going to spray them both out. And you want to adjust your chain so you can pull up on it and it doesn't pop out of the top.